Tsundere, a fictional character who fits the archetype of having cold and even hostile personality traits towards another person before gradually showing a warm and caring side over time, switching between two personalities. Last year, for Valentine's Day, we reviewed the episode of Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, Very Scary, covering the character archetype Yandere. Well, what better way to celebrate the day of love this year than to cover another type of dere, Sundere. Sundere's in Western animation are far more common than Yandere's, but today we will be looking at the most iconic Sundere in Western animation, Helga from Hey Arnold. Now, there are some debates as to whether Helga is more of a tsundere or a yandere, as she does have some obsessive yandere tendencies, but I see her as more of a tsundere, so we will be covering her in today's review of Hey Arnold. Before we begin, it's worth noting that Hey Arnold was a very real show. The 90s were full of shows that snuck in more mature themes such as Rugrats or Rocco's Modern Life, though Hey Arnold took these themes on a whole nother level. With episodes about not snitching in school, being an outcast, and even today's episode which tackles mental issues. Despite being a cartoon, it's definitely portrayed as the not as lighthearted side of growing up, so keep that in mind when we review today's episode. This is Hey Arnold, Helga on the Couch. The episode begins with the school district hiring an on-site psychiatrist. Dr. Bliss spends his day observing the students before taking a real interest in Helga. She observes Helga's obsession over Arnold during class, seeing that Helga vents her emotions through her violent tendencies. After striking a student in the hall, Helga is sentenced to attend therapy sessions after school. Her parents aren't too thrilled about the news, even warning Helga not to blab about them to Dr. Bliss. Helga doesn't plan on blabbing anything, as she's determined to keep her secret about loving Arnold from being revealed. So, during the session, Helga takes charge, asking all of the questions with Dr. Bliss playing along. It doesn't take long for Dr. Bliss to turn the tables on her, and Helga starts to rant about her family life primarily her older sister Olga, whom Helga's parents gave all the attention to. Dr. Bliss uses this opportunity to run Helga through some tests, such as ink blots and word association, with Helga's obsession over Arnold becoming much more clear. Helga gets back on the topic of her family life, explaining that even during preschool, her family paid no attention to her. We see that Helga's obsession with Arnold stems to her first day of preschool, where he was the only person in her life who was being nice to her. The other kids mock her affection towards Arnold, so Helga asserts herself and starts bossing the other children around. This leads to Helga finally confessing her feelings about Arnold, with Dr. Bliss finally connecting the dots. The episode ends with no real change or progression. Dr. Bliss tells Helga she'll never get better if she doesn't confess her feelings, but Helga isn't ready to. So Helga goes back to her normal life of bullying everyone and still secretly loving Arnold. And that was Helga on the couch. Like many episodes of Hey Arnold, this one nailed its topic, giving us a great look into Helga's psychological problems in both an entertaining and natural way. I know this was a strange episode to review for Valentine's Day when Hey Arnold has several episodes focusing around Helga's love for Arnold. Heck, there's even a Valentine's special we could have covered, but I thought it was important to cover an episode that went in depth as for why Helga acts the way she does. It gives us all of the factors in her life that led her to be obsessed over Arnold and why she expresses her feelings through violent tendencies. All in all, this was an absolutely fantastic episode covering one of Western's animation's most iconic soon today. Well, I think that's gonna do it for 2020's Valentine's Day. Don't worry, viewers, there are plenty of more durees to go through. There's Don durees, Ku durees, Dure durees, Hima durees, Kami durees, and Subscribe durees!